Cody Rhodes officially announces Randy Orton as the fifth member of his War Games team at Survivor Series this weekend. Details on that. Plus, on the opposite side of things, has Drew McIntyre officially joined the Judgment Day? Or is he just a member of the War Games side this coming weekend in Chicago? We'll let you know about that. Tony Khan reveals when we're going to find out all of the participants in AEW's Continental Classic Tournament. Gunther faces off against The Miz ahead of their Intercontinental Championship showdown this weekend at Survivor Series. Speaking of Gunther, could Imperium be set for a split in the near future? The Rock's latest pro wrestling project is revealed to be about none other than WCW Plus. Tag Team Turmoil and more is announced for next week's edition of Monday Night Raw. Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in the world of professional wrestling. Let's start off talking about Survivor Series War Games. And after the ru rumors, reports, suggestions, speculation, it's now been confirmed. The Viper is on his way back to WWE beginning this weekend in Chicago inside the Double Cage War Games structure. Now... The War Games team of Drew McIntyre and the Judgment Day may have the advantage to start out the match at Survivor Series, but the team is also going up against a Viper. Now, Drew McIntyre took on Jay Uso in a War Games Advantage match on Raw last night and won clean with a Future Shock DDT. With the victory, the Judgment Day's team will have the numbers advantage at the beginning of the match on Saturday. After the match and subsequent beatdown, however, the opposing team ran down to the ring to help out their teammates. After they cleared the ring, Cody Rhodes got on the mic and announced that a friend with whom he has a legacy with would be joining their team. Rhodes said their final teammate is an apex predator, and while he didn't outright say it would be Randy Orton, will be backing them up on Saturday, he did hear the crowd's chant of Randy and added their right. Now, WWE since confirmed this on social media, confirming the return of Randy Orton for Saturday at Survivor Series War Games. Of course, Orton has been out of action for well over a year, actually closer to 18 months with a lower back injury that required surgery sidelined since May of 2022 with an injury that had doctors telling him he would never wrestle again. Orton will indeed make his return at the premium live event, which will emanate from the Allstate Arena in Chicago, Illinois this coming weekend. Now, Drew McIntyre, who was on the opposing side of this, who also has history with Randy Orton, has reacted to the news that the Viper is indeed going to be inside the squared circle once again at Survivor Series this weekend. As I mentioned, Orton will side with Cody Rhodes, Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, and Ward Heavy champion Seth Rollins to battle with the team of Damian Priest, Finn Balor, Dominic Mysterio, JD McDonough and Drew McIntyre. The Scottish Warrior has now taken to social media to comment on Orton's return, sharing a photo of him and Orton facing off. McIntyre tweeted, quote, Hello darkness, my old friend. Hashtag Survivor Series. Now, Orton and McIntyre have extensive history of one another, with the Viper ending McIntyre's first WWE Championship reign at Hell in a Cell back in 2020. McIntyre quickly won the title back from Orton a month later in November of the same year, with this win marking the beginning of McIntyre's most recent world title reign. As I mentioned, Orton has been out of action for 18 months, with the popular star last resting on the May 20, 2022 edition of SmackDown, where he and Matt Riddle lost to the Usos in an undisputed WWE Tag Team title unification bout. So what are your thoughts on Randy Orton officially being confirmed to be coming back this coming weekend at uh, War Games at Survivor Series in in Chicago. Let me know your thoughts, your reaction to it in the comment section below. Now, speaking of Drew McIntyre, he confirmed whether or not he's just part of the War Games team with the Judgment Day or if he's actually joined the faction itself. Now, Drew McIntyre has not joined the Judgment Day, but he will officially be on their team for War Games at Survivor Series on Saturday. McIntyre made the announcement at the beginning of Monday's episode of Raw. McIntyre began by addressing his actions last week when he delivered a Claymore kick to Jay Uso to cost him and Cody Rhodes the undisputed tag team championships in a title match against Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Last week's Raw went off the air with McIntyre shaking Rhea Ripley's hand. This week, McIntyre said Uso cost him the most important moment of his life when McIntyre lost to Roman Reigns at Clash at the Castle in 2022 and that he had joined the team's uh, Judgment Day's team at Survivor Series for the opportunity to fight Uso in a cage, though he was not officially a member of the Judgment Day. After Uso's music hit and he came out to start a fight early, the Judgment Day appeared behind McIntyre to back him up, bringing out the Uso's War Games team 
game of Seth Rollins, Sami Zayn, and Cody Rhodes. Raw general manager Adam Pearce came out to stop a potential brawl and set up the War Games Advantage match that we spoke about. Uh, Rhodes' team obviously still needed one more member by the end of the evening, but that was revealed to be none other than Randy Orton. So what are your thoughts on Drew McIntyre? Not officially joining the Judgment Day, but just being a part of the team. What are your thoughts on this heel turn? Was he right in all of the logic that he's mentioned about, saying that he's never lied and he still hasn't lied about his reasons for attacking Jey Uso last week? How are you feeling about McIntyre's new character? Let me know your thoughts and your perceptions of that. Now, the Continental Classic is the latest tournament that has been dreamt up by Tony Khan in All Elite Wrestling. And AEW President Tony Khan himself has revealed when the AEW Continental Classic participants will be announced ahead of this Wednesday's AEW Dynamite on TBS. AEW fans are buzzing in anticipation ahead of the company's first round robin tournament entitled the Continental Classic. It will be 12 stars from the AEW roster competing in a point-based round robin tournament. At Full Gear 2023, Eddie Kingston announced that he was putting up the New Japan Strong Openweight and Ring of Honor World Championships in the tournament. During the AW Full Gear post-show media scrum, Tony Khan would later clarify that the winner of the Continental Classic will be the Continental Champion, which will be uh, unified with Kingston's two titles to create their version of All Japan Pro Wrestling's Triple Crown Championship. On Monday, November 20, Khan took to social media to announce that there will be an AW Continental Classic selection special this Wednesday, November 22nd, ahead of that evening's AW. AEW Dynamite. The post in question read, quote, This Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve, AEW Continental Classic Selection Special, all 12 fighters announced, interviews and more. The Selection Special streams this Wednesday and that same night celebrate Thanksgiving Eve with Continental Classic matches this Wednesday on AEW Dynamite. And the stream were air on YouTube, Twitter, and all other social media platforms. During the initial announcement of the tournament, Brian Danielson announced that he will be returning for the Continental Classic. Since then, Andrade Al Idolo, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe have entered themselves into the tournament as well. Of course, we get any more details on the participants, the layout, the stories involved in the Continental Classic, we'll let you know in future videos. Now, going back to Raw last night, Gunther and The Miz faced off as their feud continues to heat up. On the November 20th, 20 episode of Monday Night Raw, Intercontinental Champion Gunther and The Miz came face to face ahead of their title match at Survivor Series War Games. Gunther made it clear that he did not respect The Miz as he was just an entertainer. The Miz fired back by saying he looked up to great entertainers like Randy Savage when he was a kid. He stated that being an entertainer helped him elevate the Intercontinental Championship when he previously held it. Gunther responded by saying that The Miz was a little weirdo when he was younger and he was bullied when he got into wrestling because he did not belong in the sport. The champion stated that nothing had changed as The Miz still did not belong in it. He pushed The Miz and provoked him into taking a swing. Gunther initially overpowered him but The Miz hit the champion below the bout. He then dropped Gunther with a skull-crushing finale and stood tall over him. Of course, they're going to face off at Survivor Series War Games this weekend for the title. Is there any chance The Miz could be the man to end Gunther historic reign as champion let me know your thoughts about that now speaking of imperium as well could we see a split in the near future as issues between ludwig kaiser and giovanni vinci continue to heat up on raw the wwe tag team of ludwig kaiser and giovanni vinci seems to be near a split as tensions continue to boil over on raw in a backstage segment, the Imperium tag team of Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci had a back and forth exchange about their recent tensions. While Kaiser was upset about Vinci potentially making it look disrespected in front of the ring General Gunther, Vinci had a reasonable retort. With Giovanni Vinci noting that he wanted to do what was best for Imperium, he didn't really care if anything he did made Kaiser look bad so as long as it benefits the group. Ludwig Kaiser was not particularly receptive to this line of thinking and made his, his displeasure known with the sass that he is known for. After the commercial break, Ludwig Kaiser took on Johnny Gargano and he made his entrance alone without Vinci, despite Gargano being accompanied by his DIY tag team partner Tommaso Ciampa. After a competitive match, Giovanni Vinci came to the ringside area despite being told to stay away, which upset and distracted Kaiser. While Kaiser was occupied trying to yell at Vinci, Gargano was able to capitalize and pick up the victory. Later in a backstage segment, Gunther caught the pair arguing and demanded they explain themselves. With Kaiser saying that his responsibility, Vinci wouldn't listen to him. He railed a bit to show about how he uh, had everything under control on his own. Gunther interjected that Ludwig never listens, told him he 
he disappointed him and he applauded Giovanni Vinci's efforts on behalf of Imperium to Kaiser's shock, telling the pair that perhaps he had put the wrong person in charge, they should sort out their issues immediately as he was going to take care of the Miz, leading to another segment. So maybe Gunther's maybe siding with Vinci over Kaiser. Where do you think this war is headed? Do you think there's a possibility that maybe even Ludwig Kaiser could be the person that eventually dethrones Gunther? There had been reports and rumours that WWE was looking to push Kaiser significantly in the future. Can you still see that? Or do you think we could still see an Imperium split in the near future? Let me know your thoughts and your predictions about that one as well. Now, this caught people a bit off guard yesterday and by surprise because The Rock's latest pro wrestling project has been revealed. And no, it does not involve him facing off against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. In fact, it has to do with WCW. Now, on the September 15th episode of SmackDown, Dwayne The Rock Johnson made his WWE return for the first time in four years. This led many to believe The Rock's next project in the world of professional wrestling might be a long-anticipated Roman Reigns match at WrestleMania next year in Philadelphia. However, it seems that WWE has other plans for Roman Reigns at WrestleMania and looks like Reigns is going to be facing off against Cody Rhodes. And in fact, The Rock's next wrestling projects will be behind the camera in a producer role. Per deadline, Seven Bucks Productions, which is headed by The Rock and Danny Garcia, has made a new addition of Scott Landsman as head of television and Melissa Fried as VP of film development and production. As part of the announcement, it was revealed that Seven Bucks and Vice Studios will produce a docu-series investigating the, quote, mysterious demise of world championship wrestling, WCW, once the biggest wrestling company in America, end quote. Now, it's not that mysterious, and of course, there have been several projects that have detailed the demise of WCW. Obviously, there's the uh, the WCW book. There's been a plethora of other documentaries as well. The two companies previously collaborated for the Tales from the Territory series, which aired on Vice TV. Vice is also known for being the home of Dark Side of the Ring for the prior four seasons. Now, a premiere date for this has not been announced for this new docuseries. If we get any more details on it, we'll let you know. But do you have any interest in a docuseries investigating the mysterious demise of WCW. Is it all that mysterious? Has it been overdone? Do we care about WCW at this point when it comes to the rise and fall of it? Should we move on as pro wrestling fans? Let me know your thoughts and if you're interested in that at all. Finally, Raw next week will feature tag team turmoil as well as several other matches and segments. Two matches have been announced for the November 27 episode of Raw. As announced on the November 20 episode, a tag team turmoil match will determine the next challenges for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. The participants were not confirmed, but Adam Pearce was surrounded by The New Day, Alpha Academy, The Creed Brothers, DIY, Imperium, Indus Sheer when he booked the bout. The reigning champions Damian Priest and Finn Balor will defend the titles against the Street Profits on the November 24 episode of SmackDown. So obviously that's going to be taking place. Plus, Big Bronson Reed will take on Ivar. The two powerhouses have been feuding in recent weeks and they will wage war on the final Raw of November. So that's been announced. Plus, all of the fallout from Survivor Series War Games this weekend. Logically, you would think the return of Randy Orton to WWE TV as well after he competes at Survivor Series in Chicago this weekend. But there you go, guys. This latest pro wrestling news for you. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.